for at least one more year. Well, one more year as far as you're concerned. But, you know, for, as far as everybody else is concerned, was that big that he decided to come back? for his junior year? Uh, yeah, I mean, anytime you get him play like that, too, you come really back, I mean, it's good for any team. Um, but uh, specifically like for us, he was a big part of last year to get him back again. I mean, it's going to be huge for him for sure. And what was that process back. like to get him um, back here? Yeah. I mean, was there a lot I, of talking I, I into it? Or, or like, back. I'm sure, like, probably you and him, your dad, the family, sat down and talked about some things. So, I mean, was there a... Was yeah, there kind of a, a huge push to try and get him to come back? I didn't or? think, I didn't think, I uh, I not really a huge push. I mean, he kind of so knew what he needed to work too. on. Not and after he got my leg back from some NBA guys, he kind of knew that it was probably his best, in his best choice to come back. So, I mean, it wasn't really much like trying to convince him. He kind of was Andre, what's it like yeah, to you include your own you know, senior everything scholarship cool player on this team and kind of have to take on the team? Like it's yeah, uh, cool. I mean, I'm definitely so looking forward to it. Just learning from all the seniors that I've played under and just trying to take bits and pieces from them just to be the best leader that I can. I'm looking forward to challenges. How much have you been in touch with guys like Jay Sean and CJ and Kano and guys like that as you've kind of prepared to be the leader of this team? Yeah, I mean, I came in with CJ, so I talk to them all the time and just talking to him, JT, and Kato, you know, when they really come back, decided, you know, Mark, to get to work, comes back, get to practice this week, and stuff, so um, but, you know, I talk to them every night, year, and just as whenever always, I can, try to get help my, help my team win in any you way possible. You made a big jump in your game last ball, year. Defend, what are the things you've worked on this offseason to try to take another big step forward this year? I feel like I'm a Really, the same thing, just trying to build on the things that I've been trying to work on, getting my shot more consistent, more ball handling, and... Yeah, also, just the leadership basketball, uh, aspect like to I me mean, not being school, a real I mean, vocal kind of guy, just trying yeah, to take bits and pieces from people that I can and help me become a better leader, too. How do you do that? How do you kind of break out of that shell to become more of a vocal leader? Uh, just knowing that that's what the team needs, really. I've always been a team guy, and I mean, I'm just going to do whatever the team needs me to do, and I feel like being a more vocal leader is definitely something that we need. Who are some of the other guys that you've seen step up as leaders around you? Definitely CJ Walker, I mean, Caleb, he's a real vocal guy, so you always go hear him, so those are definitely the big thing, too, for sure. What are the things, you know, you and being Caleb's yeah, brother, just what are the biggest changes uh, yeah. that you've seen obviously, with him you know, from being where he was last uh, year to where he is right now? One thing I've really uh, been I mean, on, obviously the biggest change is his body, you know, really, just the way he's you know, been, been moving and back because even just jumping so better you know, and back everything, back now, and really, it's just been good to see. Have you seen a different level of focus with him? Not really. I mean, Caleb's always been focused. I mean, definitely... He's been watching a little bit better what he's eating, but he's always had you guys as high. What was it like watching the time? A lot of that stuff's going to be coming out more and more. Last year, in the previous year, you guys were kind of low balls. This year, there's more expectations. Yeah, it's definitely cool. I mean, just to see him just look at it a little bit more, especially I know that's some of the feedback he got from NBA executives was trying to get his body better get his weight down, um, so just I seeing like that, just it, seeing what you know, he's done, I mean, it's been impressive. What coach tells us the and what, you know, where he's going to lead us, how much you got in the lead coaching staff. Uh, I feel like that. if we buy into uh, what, you know, what they're providing play for us, him, play we just come to see work every day. Uh, there's no ceiling for us, so we're excited. You guys are so grounded, I almost... There, there's, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's been real impressive. I've been impressed like, with what he's done. Fish shaking uh, just to see just how far he's like come that, well, to where he is right? now, I mean, it's <laughs> definitely <laughs> something I'm but, uh, proud of him and hopefully what he keeps about it going. That? I mean, it seems like what Coach did, recruits I CJ a, a, a certain style of player what, what that, that like, buys into the system and just minds his own business and tries to get better. You guys are like cookie cutters in that thing. Yeah, uh, I mean, CJ, he's going to come out there and compete every trip. I know he's fighting to get out there. I mean, he, Obviously been, when he had a whole season where he's been off. We so spent a lot of time just with having them, that so, edge and know, just knowing that he yeah. didn't play last year, I know he's just ready to get out there. Team. Something Obviously that you definitely we've never had this before. Coach Rod, he's moved on to get his own program. You guys bring in Coach Deagler. What's Coach Deagler been like so far? He's been real cool. Coach Deagler, I mean, he was he was here when Coach Mott was here before he left for Outlaw State. So I had known him a little bit before food. that, and uh, Coach Avery is a good guy. It's a good guy. Thanks, Lisa Lisa said that he gets out there and he tries to guard you guys, and he thinks he can break you all down, and he laughed about that. Is, is that what you see out of him? Is he that type of competitor? Not for sure. He's definitely a hands-on guy, and he's, he's a competitor. I mean, every single time he's in a drill, he's trying to get us better, and that's what we need. 
uh, when I was talking to uh, Dwayne, he said that kind of the goal. I mean, he's still a good shooter, is to be a to be a better shooter than him, and then you're the best shooter in the in in the in the gym. Yeah, no, for sure. Coach Deaver definitely can shoot it for sure. Obviously, uh, Caleb went through the NBA draft process this past spring, but I'm sure you being a senior, you've got goals of playing professionally too. Is that something you start to think about now as you go into your final year here? Uh, it's definitely on the back of my mind, but I mean, I'm looking forward to making the most of this season first, and that's the biggest thing I'm worried about right now. It's just making the most of this season and uh, trying to get these guys better. Is there anything you look at, though, and say, you know, these are things I can get better to improve my chances of getting to that next level? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, just getting well. my shot more consistent and working on a little bit on my playmaking, my ball handling, yeah, yeah, and uh, just little things I need to tweak. So I'm definitely working on.